Hey folks, I'm RJ Byrne and today I'm in Wilcox County, Georgia. As you can see, this rain is approaching behind me. So I'm gonna try to get you to walk through a virtual tour of this plot uh, before it sets in. And uh, we've got several varieties out here to look at and two new ones as well. So come on, let's take a look. So first up we have is a 545. It's our true full season cotton. It'll handle stress pretty well, dry land or irrigated. And what we want to do is make sure we're getting its attention early with some picks. Got a healthy looking crop right here. And one thing I do like about this 545 is, is that it does retain its lower fruit positions pretty doggone good, which is pretty nice considering those first bowls are the ones that make you the most money. All right, so up next, this is Phytogen 443. This one here is one of my new favorites. I like this cotton. It does handle stress very well and it can go irrigated or dry land. Another one we want to get its attention early with some picks. It has done loaded up very well here already. We're in about the third to fourth week of bloom and it's coming on strong. I like this cotton and this one also has reniform and root knot nematode resistant. So if you got some of those nematodes, this one right here will help you in your quest to reduce nematodes because as I say, they don't feed and they don't breed. All right, let's hurry up. That rain's right over there. All right, next up here we have Phytogen 411. This is also a root knot and reniform resistant variety here. This one's more of a bush type cotton versus the 443 is one that's going to be more that stretches up to the sky, more of a smokestack after that bowl gets developed. But this one here, this 411, great fiber quality, handles pretty much any soil type, has traveled well across the cotton belt. This one here for me has done really good on some sandy wet land and it'll handle some stress, so irrigated or dry land. All right, next up here is we have Phytogen 400. This is a compact determinant variety right here. Doesn't necessarily require a lot of picks once you get into the fruiting stage. So we like to get its attention, get it off in the fruiting stage, and once it starts loading up, it does a pretty good job of regulating itself right here. Good option for wide row, skip row cotton. And while Irrigated is my first choice for it. If you got some heavy, stiff dirt, this will handle some dry land as well. All right, here's one of our experimental varieties this year. And when you come to one of our field days, we'll talk more about it here. But these have got all the native traits, the breeding traits with phytogen, such as root knot nematode resistance, bacterial blight resistance, and of course, enlist and wide strike three. And this is another experimental variety for us right here. Uh, this one here is a little lower on the early side. And man, it bushes out very well. And man, it comes on and it grows. And it is a nice lush green plant. All right, one more because the rain is almost here. Finally here, we get to uh, Phytogen 360 right here. This is a great option for you. If you want to try some Phytogen, this is one you definitely want to grow some. It looks good when it loads up, looks good when you defoliate it, and it picks really clean as well too. It's got root knot nematode resistance and is a great option for you, irrigated or dry land. And it will handle some stress, so don't be afraid to put it on your tougher acres or limited irrigation. All right. All right, here comes the rain. so. Um, why don't you come out to one of our field days this summer here. Again, I'm RJ Byrne and I'm a sales agronomist with Phytogen and Pioneer Seeds here in uh, South Middle Georgia. So uh, come on this summer, check out some of these rides right here and let's see if we can find a fit for you next year on your farm if you're not trying Phytogen today. Thank you.